the eye of the prophet sees far and wide, and through the prophet, the spirit of divine counsel reveals the hidden plans of the powers of darkness. Like it was these children, this bus, they were children carrying school. And then I think they were, not I think, I saw they were like um, on a mountain road. The army of God can then play its intercessory role and strategically pray against these dark plans in order to frustrate them. At the beginning of the year 2018, the spirit of divine strategy revealed to his prophet a wicked plan that was designed to be like the massacre of innocents in Bethlehem at the birth of Jesus Christ. I saw a yellow bus, then I saw school children looking through it, and then I saw it being washed away. And then I, I had in my spirit like Bududa, like Bududa. Like it was these children, this bus, they were children carrying school. And then I think they were, they were not I think, I saw they were like um, on a mountain road. I, it felt like it was Europe. And then this bus is washed away, eh? like that kind of, uh, like a landslide or something like that. Eh? Um, and then of course we pray for the preservation of life. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, for this is not the will of God. Amen. Interesting to note is how the Lord indicated that this would happen in Europe. This came to pass. This unfortunate accident seems to have opened the floodgates for the diabolical plan of the enemy, as seen by a subsequent series of similar events across the world. There is a strange pattern revealed by the prophet. First, the spirit of darkness heavily targeted buses carrying school children. Second, most of these freak accidents occurred on mountain roads. The last actually happened in the Bududa neighborhood. Third, many of these were actually swept away by floods, like those that are notorious in Bududa district of Uganda. At the start of the year, the Lord publicly said by his prophet that he was to bless more authority in the prayer of the intercessors. Could it be that the lives of those children who were spared were covered by the faithful intercession of God's saints? Could it be that many more lives could have been spared and the plans of the enemy more fully thwarted if more saints used the declared prophecy to wage war? Remember, prophecy makes you a co-laborer with God. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building.